Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 54, and we're continuing a playthrough of Chrono Trigger. If you remember, we saved Chrono, and we started down the line of optional side quests that Gaspar told us about uh, after Chrono was resurrected. Uh, you can technically do them before you get Chrono, so don't go thinking that this is in a, a predetermined order. Um, some people actually prefer to go through all the side quests because Chrono comes back at a higher level when you retrieve him uh, for some reason. And, uh, you know, so six and one half dozen the other. The game designers, if you if you look at the way they go about things, the handy things that kind of intend you to get Chrono and then go on the side quest. So, uh, tomato, tomato, whichever one you want to do. And again, all these quests are optional. Um, like, when you do the new game plus, you'll start off with the wonder shot already ready. And, and so... It, you don't have to do this again unless you want to get another one and sell it or, or whatever. You know, I mean, maybe you like collecting uh, sunshades. I don't know. Uh, so keep in mind, these are all optional. I'm trying to show the whole of the game. All right, so we'll do the sealed chest in a minute. Outside of the northern ruins. All right. Um, hmm. Yeah. Okay. I really think we'll get this done later. All right. West Cape. Here lies the great explorer, Toma Levine, 6th of 3rd Moon, 634. Oh, remember, he's the guy that we bought all those uh, sodas for when we were moving around the Middle Ages. All my husband does is sit at that tavern all day, nursing drinks. Well, just wait till he comes home. He'll be nursing a saw sore jaw then. Yikes. When I grow up, I'll be a carpenter just like my dad. Hmm. All right, so there's our residence. And let's go to the chorus in. All right, standard in. Not a single sale yet, and I came all the way from poor. Please, won't you buy something? Well, it depends what you got. All right, I've got 28 shelters. I guess I'll be okay. I got 10 Athenian waters, which should be okay. I haven't actually used any of them. Same with the panaceas. The mid ether. No, I got plenty of those. I, oh, that's right. That's the. I used a fair number of high potions. So let's go ahead. I don't know. Let's grab about 20 of those just to have them handy. Because, um, again, when you do the new game plus, the gold doesn't go with you. So you're going to want to dump it into uh, potions and equipment and things that you're going to want the next go around or to things that you can sell back again and get a, most of the money back. All right. The grave of the great explorer, Toma, is on the Western Cape. Even he never managed to find the treasure known as the Rainbow Shell. Ooh. It's almost like that's going to be another quest later on. Welcome. All the youngins are off at that millennial fair. Kids these days, they're just gluttons for fun. Have you heard about the ghost, I mean? No, I have not. They say a ghostly night haunts the northern ruins. Scary, yeah? Sends chills down my spine just to think of it. Bring me another mug. Sir, I think you've had quite enough already. Who are you to tell me when I've had enough? You're worse than the wife. What's wrong with a carpenter having a few pints in the afternoon, huh? I don't know. How straight do you need to put the frame? And the mayor's manor. I seem to remember this town being 
on the mainland. Hmm? You thinking of visiting those ruins? I'd stay away if I were you. They're quite dangerous with all the structural damage underground. Oh, really? They say ghosts lurk in the ruins to the north. There's an old structure to the north. It's lain in ruin for centuries. Have you heard? Talk has it those ruins to the north are haunted. Seems there's been ghost sightings. Oh, how dreadful. Spirits with lingering worldly attachments are drawn to those sorts of places. You don't say. How the black omen shines in the sun. Tomorrow should be a beautiful day as well. The anguish of tormented spirits forms an almost tangible cloud around the ruins to the north. Okay, game. Hints are supposed to be subtle. <laughs> Let's go to the ruins to the north then and find out about the surly ghost. Hmm. Up or down? Well, what's down? Grrr. Nope. Physical attacks don't do anything. Alright. I got the answer for that, then. Combo. Luminaire. Light him up. Bam. Oh. Okay. No. Better than? No. My sword is to no avail. Then... Cyrus? Tis I, Glenn. Uh, Glenn? Grr. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna we're supposed to win this one. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna keep going through the same thing. Yeah, we're gonna keep going through the same thing. Alright, what else is in this uh, ruin while we're here? Nothing. All right, so we can't go down, we can't go that way. Then uh, let us go back to the past a little bit. Let's go to hitting the right button. And go to 600 AD. Okay, so this isn't the town that I thought it was. Interesting. I thought this was a different town. What's in the market here? Welcome. Ah, potions and things. Not what we need. And to this residence we go and find nothing but a mutton on the fire. Nothing but a mutton on the fire. Oh no, everybody's upstairs. We're only carpenter's apprentices. Our master's at the tavern. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Alright, so that was the residence. Let's go to the tavern. Robbed of my carpenter tools. How am I to work without my tools? Oh, Toma. Would that you'd stay here, but a little longer. 
Ah, well met, Chrono. I finally stumbled upon a hint as to the whereabouts of the Rainbow Shell. Still, I can't shake the feeling that things will go sour this time. I fear my luck may have finally run out. Say, would you mind holding on to this for me? Tained Toma's spirits. <laughs> You'll see why I laughed when we get to a different side quest. Should the worst befall me, it would mean a lot to me if you'd pour that over my headstone. A touch morbid, I know, but I beg you. Okay, that's all you're going to say. Welcome. About ten years ago, a beast was seen dragging something into the northern ruins. There was talk it may have been some sort of treasure, but no one knows for sure. Alright, so that's everything in here. Come on, lady. Out the way. That's the tavern. Anything of value in the inn? Nope. Just a night to stay for some money. And what about at the residence? How the black omen shines in the sun. Tomorrow should be a beautiful day as well. Hmm. There's something eerie about those ruins to the north. Alright, then I guess we're heading to the northern ruins. Although, before we do that, let's go ahead and save our progress, because it's been a little while since we did that. And into the northern ruins we go. Oh. These are still ruins, and there's still nothing but a nasty hole that away. No crazy ghosts this time. Oh, well, not there at least. The physical attacks, not so much. Then, uh, let's go ahead and do a dark bomb and a luminaire. And let's get Frog's health back up. That's what I get for not paying attention to that. Should have done a shelter when I went to go save. Got a healing, although... Probably won't matter after that. Yeah, no. Didn't think so. Only 16 tech points. Come on, guys. All right, let's go ahead and text and... Heal everybody. And then slurp back up to the rest of health. There we go. All right, magic tax it is. Let's do these guys right this time. Luminaire. And water too, and dark bomb. Let's just nuke him with everybody's everything best. Z Grudge. Okay. And some XP, some tech points, some gold. A high ether, Magus's level is increased. Obtained a Turbo Ether. Oh, uh, okay. Hmm. Let's get a heal in real quick. Well, I think Chrono is the only one actually hurting. Oh no, Magus is as well. Um, oh! Well, that's not good. Oh, they're gonna kill him, aren't they? Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Oh, that's right, he doesn't earn the stuff because he died. 
All right, let's fix that real quick. Here. Uh oh, we'll have to get his magic points back up in a minute. All right, that's everything there. Yeah, there's nothing else we can do there. So the apprentice here won't work without his tools. The other guy in the future just won't work. So... Hmm. Let's head back to the future then. Oh, wrong button. All right, let's go, or sorry, back to the present. It's not the future. It's the future from where we're at. It's just not the future future, if that makes sense. All right. So let's go back to the inn. Hmm, you want to borrow my tools? Well, sure, why not? Be my guest. I'm a little busy, as you can see, so you need to go get them for my wife. <laughs> a little busy, I see, huh? All my husband does is sit at that tavern all day nursing drinks. Well, just wait till he comes home. He'll be nursing a sore jaw then. What? His tools? Oh, hold on. They're right here. Under the sink? No, over the fridge. Obtain carpenter's tools. Sweet. Don't worry. We'll get back to Toma's grave and... All that morbid bit with his spirits. Alright, let's go back to the past. And is he going to be in the inn or the residence? Nope, not that residence. Um, Not the market. This residence? Nope. Are those, are those carpet tools you're carrying? Might you be willing to lend them to me for a while? Yep. My thanks, friend. Now I can finally get to work again. And off he goes. And now... You've my thanks for lending me these tools. Twas most gracious of you. Now I can finally get back to work. All right, let's say we start with the ruins up north. On your feet, you lazy do-nots. Whatever you say. Hmm. We've done all we can. We can't repair monster infested places. Let us know if you've cleared the floor of beasties, then we'll handle the rest. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, um, yeah, Magus is still without his, um, magic, so let's go to here. Oh, I forgot I picked up a strength capsule. All right, um, let's go ahead and use up some of these mid-ethers. 30, 60, that'll be enough to get you, at least until we use get to where we want to use a shelter. And since we haven't saved in a while, let's go ahead and save. All right, let's see if we can find these uh, monster infested areas and take care of those. Oh, no, we already got that one. And he hasn't fixed the hole in the floor yet. Upstairs we go. All right, we can get through this door now. All right, now let's clear some stuff out. Eh, let's burn them all. And then electrocute them. And then put it out with water? Okay, sure. Why not? We'll call it making sense. That was a pretty big hit, and they just shrugged that off. Arr. And there we go. Some XP, some tech points, some gold. 
A lapis to replace the one that we used. Level increase. Yay. Alright. Same deal. Where are we just gonna... Yeah, it's only magic points. We can get more. Alright, maybe these side quests are gonna take a little bit longer than I seem to remember them taking. Um... I mean, the notes make it sound like it goes so quick. Nineteen eighty-four, thirty-two, money, 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 money. Nope, nothing in here. Ah, I see a sealed chest. We'll be able to do something about that. Soon. Soon. Alright. Same deal. Let them up. Knock them down. Burn them. Burn them. Bam. Gone. Done. Some XP, some tech points, some gold. Silver and gold. No. Alright, and I do believe that is everything that we can do for now. We've taken care of all the monster infested places. Let's go ahead and head back here. Let him know that we've, um... <laughs> um... Okay, fine. We earned that in the fight anyway, so... Not like we're losing money. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure we earned more than that in the fight. Kind of think that's the point. I mean, they did give you a ridiculous amount of money. Oh, oh not the tavern that I wanted. I wanted the inn. If it's less than 150, 10 gold. Oh, yeah. Because we need to top off everybody's magic points and hit points. No. Different game. Alright, let's go back up to the ruins. And I think we've got to do this one more time, which is why I'm going a little bit longer than I did the last couple episodes. We've done all we can. We can't repair monster-infested places. Let us know when you've cleared a floor of beasties. We'll handle the rest. On your feet, you lazy do-nuts. Yada yada. Well, at least he's not sitting at the bar drinking drinks. All right, did you fix this hole in the floor? Yes. And what is in here? Oh, let's uh, do the top floor first, and then we'll do the... Uh, no, let's go ahead and do this one. Okay, yeah, let's do this one now. Here rests Cyrus, the fool who defied Magus. Cyrus, Cyrus, I have returned. I will fulfill that oath I swore so long ago, and my final promise to you as well. Cyrus, Glenn, thank you for making the journey all this way. Cyrus, you must think ill of me. Ha, you think overmuch. You've come far, my friend. I was never as fine a warrior as you are now. As Magus's fire consumed me, my heart burned with the thoughts of all I'd left unfinished and all I left behind. Magus, King Guardia, Queen Lenny. And of course you, my dear good friend. But the skills you've honed over all this time are superior to any I could ever claim to know. 
I can rest now, knowing that all will be made right by your hands. Farewell, my friend. Cyrus, wait. I... I... Oh. The Queen. Look after Queen Lenny. Farewell, Glenn, my friend. Cyrus. Forgive me, Cyrus. Hmm? The Mazamun. <laughs> what else? Remember, it's Masa and Moon from the uh, Mystic Kingdom. All that emotional baggage was weighing you down. The hero's strength is the strength of will. Can't very well save the world if you're dwelling on the past. Now you're truly strong. True strength. And now we can use all of our power too, can't we, Maza? You bet, Moon. <laughs> all that from a ruby knife. It's pulsing with strength. Ah, the Mazamun's true form. I must go now, Cyrus. But I go to follow in your footsteps and see done all that you had wished. May my actions honor you. Come, let us be on our way. And now the Mazamun has an attack of 200. Yes. Now, the Brave Sword, I am not going to sell. Because when you do the new game plus, the Mazamun is one of the bits of equipment you don't take with you into the new game. Because you got to earn it all over again. Oof. So, <laughs> with that said... Um, you know, there, there's items like that where it could, because there are key story items, you definitely need to kind of hang on to, uh, hang on to the one before it or an alternative to hold you over. All right. Is this door? Nope. This door? Nope. What bad guys are you talking about? Ain't nobody up here. Making me think there's other beasties to fight. All right, let's go. Let's go hire the carpenter one more time. We should be. Uh, it should just be one more time. You want the northern ruins repaired? Two thousand gold. Yeah, I guess we got it. On your feet. All right. Du, 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 du. Let us now go to the hero's grave. We've done all we can. There's nowhere left that we can repair. On your feet. Yada, yada, yada. Um, I'm going to run down to the basement, but I'm pretty... Oh, no, that's not the basement. That's the upstairs. I'm going to run down to the basement. <laughs> this time to the real basement. But I'm pretty sure there was nothing else here. Yeah, there was just that chest. And the hero's grave. Here rests the brave Sir Cyrus. Whose spirit lives on and his true friend, Glenn. Oh. All right. And... We are nearing the end of this little side adventure, so let's uh, run through here real quick. And over here on this side, we can finally go in and find a chest with an elixir. And if we go to the middle, we can find oh, more stuff that we'll have. Let's take care of the right first. We find a sealed chest. The item inside is reacting to the pendant. Remove the item. 
No, because this is another one of those upgradable items. So now that we've activated it, when we go try to take it in the future, we'll have something really tasty. What else we got in here? Oh, these guys. All right, let's burn them down. Let's get this done. This episode is going on a lot bit longer than I intended. So uh, let's try to hustle these guys up. Alright, some XP, some tech points, and Magus learned Barrier. Sweet. And, oh. Come on. Let's get these guys. Yeah. Let's make this happen quick. Bam. Oh. Well, that's not good. Maybe this will do them in. Alright, some tick points, some gold, some lapis. We made our money back off of the repairs. That's what I was looking for. Two more of those jokers. Alright, fire didn't seem to be doing too much, so... Nope, dark bomb's not going to hit all of them, so let's hit lightning. Bigger lightning. And throw some water in that lightning. Ow. Hmm. I'm going to take care of Magnus's hit points before I forget about it. Remind me when the fight's over. Alright. Bam. Bam. Gone. Zzz. XP. Some tech points. Some gold. Lepis. And Magnus's level is up again. The item inside is reacting to the pennant. Remove the item? Nope. The item inside is reacting to the pennant. Remove the item? Nope. So now we've got three chests in these ruins. And even better. That means that we can go ahead and clear these out now. Or not now. We've activated them. We'll go to the future. It's repaired. Uh, but first, let's go ahead. No, not equipment. Inventory. Shelter. Get everybody's everything back up real quick. We shouldn't have to do too much fighting, so let's go ahead into the epoch and go to the present. Into the hero's grave. Let's start on our way to the basement. I want to say there was supposed to be some tabs floating around here. There we go. A magic capsule. And the brave Sir Cyrus. As opposed to the brave Sir Robin. Sorry, getting a little tired. A little punchy. All right. And up this way. Oh, there's the other tab. Another strength capsule. And in here's oh, that's right. We probably should have opened that one in the future and then opened it again in the past. I forgot about the regular chests. All right, what do we get? We got Nova armor. Oh, moonbeam armor. What does the moonbeam armor do? Uh, <laughs> defense of 85 and a magic defense of 10. Yes, please. Now, the nice thing is, is new game plus that joker, and you can just keep collecting and collecting and collecting it until everybody's got their own set. That is one of the benefits of the new game plus is then you can really epically outfit your party eventually. <laughs> You'll just have to play through the game a few times. 
Might as well do it if you're going to go ahead and f try to find all the different endings that are possible, too. Alright, so there that is. We got the Suzaku. Uh, which is an upgraded sword for Chrono. With a, an attack of 170 and a damage time 4 for crits. Yes, please. Alright. And on this side we have a Valkyrie bow. Valkyrie. Alright, let's go to equipment. We know who gets that. And Marley's Sonic Bow becomes the Valkyrie Bow with an attack of 180. No bonus on crits? Oh, that's a shame. Okay. And now we can actually go back to the back past and get the other version because, well, it's still worth gold. Some of it might still be worth using, but, uh... So we got the future version. Now let's go back to the Middle Ages. Oof. Yeah, this is, I'm sorry, this is like two episodes worth right here. I should have done the, uh, I should have done the split. I'm sorry. Alright, let's pick up our item this time. Now that we got the future version, we got the Nova Armor. Is that good enough to go ahead and put on, like, say, Frog? Prevents all status ailments and higher defense. Okay. So now if we can get him a better cap, he'll still have the uh, prevent all status ailments, which is nice. All right, let's go this way. And let's get this one. Which is a sword that, uh, yeah, it's just an attack of 150. Still better than the Yaksha blade. It's worth gold. And the Siren's Kiss is a bow that, uh, oh, it's worth some gold. We shall sell that soon enough. Now that is it right there. So there's one other item or there's one other thing you can do for frog, but that's going to have to wait till the next one. Cause this is already double the length of a normal episode. <laughs> and yeah, I should have split that. I'm sorry. I thought this was going to be a, uh, I thought this went quicker than it did. All right. Well, Thank you for joining along so far, especially for enduring a double helping episode. If you're watching live on Twitch or Mixer, hang tight. There's still more to come. If you want to watch live, I stream Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There is a link in the description below. If you haven't already, follow in Twitch to get notified when I go live. There's a Mixer link in there, but as of at the by the end of March, I won't be using Mixer anymore. At least not on the regular. So you can follow there just in case. Because I, I will keep the channel active as a backup. But uh, anyway, uh, if you want to... Okay, yep. Uh, da, da, L, and yeah, now I know I'm tired. Because this should have been another episode further in. Sorry about that again. All right. Um, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. It helps the channel out. You get notified when new episodes and other content get posted. So live folks, give me a minute to prep the next episode. And YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.